Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. From time to time I get requests to do videos on certain features. Um, this is the case uh, in this particular video. Um, several people wanted examples on returning strings as a, a function call. Um, I get comments as, well, why don't you just pass it as a parameter and modify the parameter and return it like that. And, and that's you can do that and that's a very correct way to do it. Um, I could actually show you that. Uh, but um, this is handy if you want to embed the call inside another function call or if you want to make it part of a statement, returning it as a string as a function uh, type is, is is very handy to know how to do. There's four examples here. One of them's correct. One, three of them are correct. One of them's not, and I'll explain that. The first one is uh, I call it the old pointer style or the old C style because we're using pointers, and that's you can always use that one. And I do it a lot because I'm an old programmer, so it's very familiar to me. Uh, what I do is I declare a string, and notice I'm using the asterisk as a pointer, which means it has a, a uh, I have to get an address. Right now, it doesn't contain anything. Supposedly, what I'm going to do is in this return string, I'm going to go create the address, assign a string to it, and then give that back to STPTR. And then I'm going to print it out. Notice that I have to use the asterisk with it since it's a pointer reference. Let's go down and take a look at that code. Here it is right here. I have static string asterisk S is declaring a static string. I put the word static in front of it to, to be safe. It can work without it, it's unreliable. And the reason static is there is because I want this address to continue to be viable once this function call stops. It may not always be the case. Uh, so I put static there. And then the uh, asterisk for its pointer, I go out and declare a get in space for it, new string, and give that space to S. I modify it to Dr. Yuri Shivago, those of you who are fans of uh, Dr. Shivago. And notice I have to put the asterisk in front of it because it's a pointer type and I'm modifying the contents of that address and then I'm returning the reference to it. Notice the asterisk is not in front of that. Let's uh, build this and run it. And we'll see down here in Dr. Yuri Shivago, there it comes back. So what it's done is it's created the address, given a string to it, and then returned it. That's the uh, old pointer style. Well, let's comment that out. <clears throat> okay, and uh, we're going to go to our second version right here, again, which uh, works, but there there's a problem with it. I'll explain that here in a minute. Um, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, initialize it to Laura Antipova again, which was Dr. Shivago's love interest. Uh, I'm going to return a string reference to it. It's going to replace that reference um, uh, with the uh, string that I'm calling and then I'm going to print it out. Notice I don't have to put the uh, uh, address in front of it. Let me build this and uh, run it. And Notice it changed to Paul Moadib. Let's go down and take a look at that code and I'll explain the problem with it. Here is the routine I just called. I'm declaring a static string as it's not a pointer, it's just a regular string. I'm modifying it to Paul Moadib, okay, and then returning S. The problem is, uh, since I'm not going out and declaring a new string, it uses the same address every time. Every time I call this routine, what's going to happen is it's going to access the same location and modify that string. That's typically not what you want to do. Typically what you want to do is you want a new address. However, this is one way to do it. Just remember that no matter from now on, uh, whenever I declare, use this reference right here, uh, str reference, what's going to happen is, uh, unless I change it, it's going to reference that location that was created in that routine. Okay, The location where Laura Antipova is, is gone. We have no way to get to it. So it's really, it's kind of an incorrect way to do it. Very common mistake. Um, the error doesn't show up right away. It's a little insidious. Okay, we're going to use that later on. Okay, now 
The third routine is um, uh, notice I'm this is actually the correct way to do it in the C++ style. Um, the um, I'm embedding this inside a C out routine too, so I show you how it, it can be used. I could give it to a variable name, but I'm just returning the uh, the string itself. Let's go down and, and look at that. And again, this is the this is the C++. Very very similar to our uh, first example using pointers. I declare a string and I'm declaring a pointer to it. I'm going out and getting new space and I'm changing it to Herman Melville, the guy who wrote Moby Dick, and I'm returning that. And again I'm just using the ampersand reference right here which allows me to treat it as a kind of a non-pointer. So let me go ahead and, uh, and build this and uh, I'll run it for you see that it comes out with Herman Melville. Very good. Now my fourth example is kind of a copy constructor. I've left the string reference alone up here because I'm going to use it here. I'm going to pass it in and uh, and uh, make a copy of it. Okay so here's what the I'm going to do is I'm going to pass in uh, Laura Antipova and I'm going to uh, make a copy of it and give it to blank SDR and I'll show you what the old one looks like and the uh, new one looks like on the uh, return. Let's go down and take a look at that code so you can see it. Again, very similar to the other ones. I'm creating a new string, static. I'm going out and getting space for it. I copy the old one to the new one and that, that leaves the old one unaffected, which is very nice. And I'm returning the new string. And notice the placement of the asterisks. These are very important. If I leave these off it's uh, going to give me an error. It says not, not, not. You can't do that. All right. Let's uh, build this and let's run it. And there we have Laura Antipova, Laura Antipova. So there's the old one and the new one. Uh, if I were to uh, change one of them, it would leave the other unaffected because it's two separate uh, locations. Um, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, uh, press like and uh, consider subscribing to my channel and I look forward to doing another video for him. Send your requests uh, directly to me. Have a good day.